Hi, and welcome to video number three. We're going to talk about how to write an ebook that sells. Now, before I actually dive into showing you step by step how to create a ebook that sells, first of all, I want to address two things. Keep in mind that the value you create, the content value that you provide and you create, equals the value that you get in money. So don't come at the angle that, okay, all I have to do is create an ebook and slap a bunch of stuff together and sell it. That's, that's not how it works. You have to do planning. You have to kind of observe your competition. And it really doesn't take that much time to do that. But if you do the proper planning, you do the proper research, you should have no problem creating a good ebook after you watch this particular video. Second of all, you want to address the problems and concerns of a target market. So you might want to list out, you know, what are problems that this specific market faces? What are the concerns that they face? What, what keeps them up at night? If you know these things, then you can really address these things in the beginning of your ebook or your excerpt and things like that. So you can grab and pull them in. And once you have done that, then you can provide the solution. Then you can relate to them, things like that. So writing an ebook, you know, it really depends on what it is. If what I'm talking about now is really nonfiction type stuff, like how to do this or how to do that, training type stuff. But if you're, you know, writing a nonfiction novel, then that's a whole different world. But what I'm about to show you is a way to pretty much figure out, you know, how to write a good ebook, whether it's nonfiction, whether it's fiction, you know, whatever it might be. So there are two ways of writing an ebook. You can either hire somebody to write an ebook, proofread it, change it around a little bit, or you can write your own book. Now, if you before you actually write your book, you need to do a little bit of planning. You need to ask yourself, is this book a fiction novel or is it going to be a nonfiction novel or a nonfiction book? Because there are many different types of books. And if you want to get an idea of the different types of books, you could always go to Amazon. I know I keep telling you to go to back to Amazon, but guess what? You already have all the resources that you need. So you can go to books, textbooks, look around, get an idea of your passions, get an idea of, you know, you've already brainstormed, you've already figured out what you wanted to write about, but it's now it's time to write about it. So... Like I recommend earlier, go to similar books, figure out the table of contents of those books, which generally, if you don't want to guess, you can, you know, online dating for dummies, then you find a dummies book, the dummies book has a table of contents on it. So use that same method to figure out a table of contents. Now don't plagiarize. I repeat, do not plagiarize and do not copy word for word. This is simply to get an idea of what you can do. Now, once you know what to do, then you know you got the table of contents, then you can give it to the writer. In order for the writer to write a good book, they need to have a table of contents. If you just go ahead and tell them, hey, write a book on online dating, you're not going to get a book that is really good quality because you're really, they're interpreting, you know, the novel or the book in their own way. So if you want it done well, make sure you do the table of contents first and then give them the table of contents. That's how you do, you know, you create a good ebook. If you want to hire somebody, you can always go to several places. Now, Warrior Forum is a good place. If you go here and you look for warriors to hire, you can find a lot of good content writers. Most of these people are article writers. However, you can still find people that are ebook writers, and you can. I went through this the other day, and you can find people that will write your ebook for anywhere from $97 to $127. Now, that's pretty cheap considering the fact that they're writing an ebook that will make you money on and on on autopilot for a long time. Now, if you don't want to invest the money, then you can always write, your, write it yourself. Another good site is guru.com. I've had a lot of great experience with guru.com. I would not recommend sites like Odesk 
you know, script lance, rent a coder, and sites like that. You may be able to find good writers there, but for the most part, I have had more success with goober.com and warsforum.com. Now, it's not to say never ever use odesk.com or never ever use rentacoder.com. For the most part, I found that you can find better writers on guru.com. And I found people to write articles, press releases, and things like that from guru.com. So guru.com, elance.com is probably a good one too. I've, I've not personally used elance, but I've heard a lot of good things about the site. It's a big site. So you can use those two sites or any other sites to have your ebook written. But what I recommend you do though is if you, once you give the table of contents, ask them to write the, the first part first or the first few pages first and then look over them and just make sure that the ebook is headed the right direction. The worst thing you can do is give the table of contents to the writer and have them write the whole book and realize that's not exactly what you want. So make sure that you go step by step, plan the process out, plan your ebook out first and then tackle that. Now, if you're going to write a fiction novel, it might be a little harder to, you know, outsource that specific task. But as you can see, creating ebooks are indeed actually very, very easy thing to do. Now, you might be asking, well, what about private label rights articles? Private label rights articles, I mean, yes, yes and no. I mean, you can't just take a bunch of private label articles and pl plop them together. And then that be your ebook. You just don't want to do that, especially if you're going to put your name on it. If you do that route, make sure that somebody goes through and rewrites all of them, either in your own words or have them rewrite everything. If you do that, rewrite it plus add or remove onto it. If you remove some stuff and then you add some stuff, then you will make it a better ebook. Now, you're thinking, oh, wow, this is pretty simple. Creating ebooks is a very simple thing to do, depending on what it is. If it's a novel, you might have to take a week or a few weeks. If it's a how to product, which most products out there are informational how to, then it's a lot easier. 